Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to go over some currency pairs of interest for the week ahead and what we expect to happen. So first of all we're going to start off with the pound uh, and last week we saw a rejection of this key level that we spoke about later in that week. So we were looking for the market to come up into these previous daily lows and rejects which we saw on Friday. Now I expect that momentum to continue uh, down into the next lows now around about that 1.29 level. So looking for short opportunities uh, on this market to come back down into this key supporting level so if we just dive down a couple of time frames we can see that the four hour averages are starting to cross one hour has definitely crossed uh, previously where we were looking for those short opportunities before um, so still if we go to our 30 minute chart and have a look at what's happening here the markets just crossed over and the previous support level of 1.3 could act as a key resistance so you can see here it was resistance then it turned into support the market came down again found some slight support before breaking through so what i'm looking for really is for price to come back up in towards that 1.3 level see if the averages line up and then look for further shorting opportunities on the pound moving on to euro so we're still short euro us dollar uh, still expecting that market to come and retest these previous structure lows down here as well uh, again looking for further short opportunities um, we've had a real nice bearish candle on friday looking for that momentum to continue so really just watching the lower time frames looking for any kind of shorting opportunities here and um, the market made a nice high already around about the 1.11 area so if we do get another pullback in and around this area um, I'm again looking for those sort of short opportunities uh, to uh, that key support below that we we're already targeting uh, Aussie as well Aussie is one for me to focus on for some more shorting opportunities um, weekly time frame you can see that we had a nice bearish close once again um, expecting that to continue especially into that low that we've already pointed out um, on the daily time frame so I'm still looking for short opportunities on this one as well so still very much looking for dollar to gain some momentum um, against these currency pairs um, this morning we've already seen a decent drop in the Australian dollar um, so still looking for further shorts um, we can see here again 30 minute time frame seems to be the time frame at the moment that's pointing out some decent opportunities so again if we look for those sort of pullbacks into those key sort of structure areas in line with our averages as well looking for those shorts into that key support down here where you can see previously the market bounced three times before rallying higher so I expect this area to be tested again um, so looking for for that if we don't get that pullback and the market does come into this low then I'll I won't look for any short opportunities then in case the market does do what it did here um, but you know if we break through then I can continue to look for those short opportunities after that so be careful once price gets to those key support areas um, you need to watch what the higher time frame price action does at that point okay so keep monitoring that daily time frame keep looking for those short opportunities for now if we take out those lows like i said then i would expect the market to come and test other key supporting areas uh, another chart of interest um, is euro yen really nice chart at the moment the market came up again looking at that key resistance area up here those resistance highs um, the market came up tested it one two three four times and we had that nice bearish close on friday looking for that euro momentum to continue to the downside there is an ecb interest rate decision this week on thursday um so you know if any kind of dovish tone comes out of out of that again it should put pressure on the euro for some downsides so um, looking for that to continue this week into these lows um, again looking at this chart just for extra added confluence we can see that there's some bearish divergence forming albeit slight divergence but still forming we can see that price formed a higher high on the daily time frame and the RSI formed a lower high so that being said that at key resistance we can look for those key opportunities 
to get short this market um, into some key support points. So keep your eye on this market as well. The end of day could be producing a nice opportunity with these stops above those highs entering around those lows. You could look for that or like I said, um, previously look for those lower time frame entries. So if we go to the um, uh, lower time frames such as the 30 minute, you can see we've just crossed over um, so there could be some opportunities forming there. So keep your eyes on these charts this week. Hope you enjoyed this video update and I'll speak to you tomorrow.